starting this weekend, starting tonight. The plaza will be in the spotlight again for the 82nd annual Plaza Art Fair. From artists and live music to culture and food, the three-day event will attract thousands of art enthusiasts around the city. Well, the art fair is always a big hit from fans. It's also a big money maker as well. Cynthia Newsom is there live to tell us about the dollars and cents side of this. Cynthia? Yeah, there's a lot going on here. A lot to take in for everyone. Something for all the senses. Talk about something for taste. This is from P.F. Chang. So good. And right over there, there's the music stage. There's your hearing. And as you come right over here, there is some exciting art that you want to get over there and touch and see. It's all exciting. And vendors here are hoping that you come ready to spend some money. Yep, she's ready. <laughs> this is a full two hours before the official start of the Plaza Art Fair, and shoppers are already on the hunt, ready to spend. Probably not a big purchase, but you know, if we can find a good deal on something that I don't know looks cool and would be a good addition to our to what we have, so. The weather is perfect. That means a big crowd, and the vendors couldn't be happier. Stephen Sebastian is a veteran vendor here. This is his 30th year at the Plaza Art Fair. He said he always leaves smiling. It's my last show, and I have some money <laughs> to make it to February till I'm ready to show again. Art Fair officials estimate the 240 artists and vendors and 25 restaurants providing food booths will walk away with about two million dollars. And there's a ripple effect for the local economy. An estimated 400,000 people from Kansas City and the entire Midwest region are expected to come. Vendors are here making money on this operation and restaurants and our merchants and the artists. So, yeah, I mean, I think there's kind of a, a big pot that everybody's kind of getting to share, which is a great aspect of this event. O'Dowd's Little Dublin gets really busy around 10 p.m. on Plaza Art Fair nights. So extra staff and waitresses will be working. The corner bar is ready to rake in some big profits. Absolutely. I mean, the more people that come to the plaza, the more people that frequent our establishment. So, you know, volume there is volume here. It kind of works out both ways. And something else to keep in mind, the Plaza Art Fair people are very concerned about security. They have Kansas City Police Department as well as their own Highlands Plaza security who are working. I was out here earlier today and about every 20 minutes I would see somebody on every corner walking around and they're also in little patrol cars as well, just making sure that everything stays safe out here. As far as parking, you know it, every year some streets are closed off and there are parking garages. People pretty much are having an okay time. It might take you a little extra time to get here, but people are smiling and have a great time. If you want to check out the parking situation and the roads that are closed, just go to our website, KSHB.com. Reporting live on the plaza at the Art Fair, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.